Hi friends, it's Liz here. So today I have a video showing you some items I received from In Love Arts Shop. I'm starting with this paper collection. I also wanted to give you a quick update. My videos for the next little while are going to be a little choppy in a way because I'm in the process of moving my craft space and things are sort of all over the place right now. So I'm finding different areas where I can film and I had previously filmed some pieces of the video and then of course as I'm finding more things to do and more things to create I will be um, you know putting those together of course they'll be as seamless as possible but you'll you may notice different backgrounds and or um, you know just different things that I'm doing with the videos um, so for this in love arts shop um, design project I'm going to show you what I've made after I show you the flip through of the paper collection and then I'm going to show you the pieces that I use to make the items. As always I will have links in the description box below so you can um, see what I used and if you wanted to as well you could use a coupon code for discounts for any of the items that I have featured in this video. Okay, so I'm showing you the paper collection. I thought it was double-sided, but it's actually a one side, uh, a single side uh, paper collection. And it does include three of each sheet as well. I do think this is a really nice paper collection. And as you can see, there's such a variety of designs and um, you know colors that really do coordinate nicely together. Um, but like I said, I thought it was um, double-sided when I um, selected it. Now, it's also a little bit thin on the cardstock part. It doesn't really tell me the, um, you know, the thickness of the paper on the packaging, but um, it is a little bit thinner than, you know, maybe the cardstock that you would get at Michael's or something like that. Okay, so um, what I made with some of the items that I will be showing you in a moment is um, a little greeting card. And in the, on the greeting card here, I used the happy birthday, the bow, and both of the little hearts, the, the giant heart here, and then the little one on the left. And I really like the dies that um, I selected for this project. The next one, again, I used a little bow and the love you sentiment. Now, I really am liking the sentiments that have a backing to them. It just makes it easier to, um, you know, to work with them. So this is like a little bag topper that I made. And here I made a pocket again with a happy birthday. And the happy birthday actually comes with the um, balloons but i did cut them off for my previous project so i would just have the happy birthday sentiment and then i made another little card with the different little stitched hearts i really like any dies that have stitching to them and then the little bird there's also a set that i'm going to show you and again i just made another little card with that set and the last ones that i was working on were these little bag toppers it's a set of three and so the largest one is the one I embellished and I left the two smaller ones as is so you can just see what they look like. But these are really cute, of course, to be added to packaging and, um, you know, anything that you're sending out to friends or family. So these are the quick projects I wanted to share. Hopefully you'll get some inspiration. And now I'm just going to show you um, quickly what I received. I will have links in the description box below if you're interested in anything. I also have a coupon code for you to use if you are purchasing anything. Um, and as, a, as always, thank you so much for using the affiliate links because that certainly helps um, me continue with making videos. So the first little pack I didn't really use um, in, the, um, in the video are these two little pieces. These are these plastic little hearts and then a little bit of sequins. Now this one here, I actually thought it was a binder that included these little pockets, but it didn't. So, um, you know, keep that in mind if you're looking for those types of pockets. It just includes the actual plastic sleeves and not the binder that it shows in the picture. The love you little sentiment I showed you here, it has the shadow, so the back of it, and then of course the, um, the sentiment on the front. 
and then there's also the little happy birthday one like I said this is all one die as you see here and for the projects that I showed you I did end up cutting off the balloons on one of the projects and then I left the you know the entire die for the following project these ones are the uh, mini little bag toppers they call they call them handle bags or something like that and so it's the three different sets and the little hearts that pop out of it you can certainly use them in other projects um, you know or you add them to a sequin mix I did show you the little birds before and this is the set that it comes with so it is super cute and I really like playing with the little birds I didn't use the um, the little background with the hearts but it's uh, just a really cute it would make a really cute card and then it all sort of comes together I kept most of it together because I was just cutting up um, with my machine everything at once these are the little heart sets with the stitched design on them really cute and I like that they have different shapes to them and then the last one is the stacked hearts and I only used the large one for my project I actually received everything really late um, you know how everything is happening with shipping so I had intended to make all these um, items for Valentine's but now of course we're into March so I couldn't um, really get into making that and I think the bow is my favorite I didn't use a little antlers but I did really enjoy, um, you know, making the bows that uh, come out of this project. So that was it, my friends. Thank you for joining me. I know many of you have said that you like this way of the videos a little bit better where I show you what I've made and then I go through the items I've used. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know which project you like the most. Leave a comment below. Don't and if you want to see other in love arts items that i have shown before i will leave a link for those as well all right thank you for joining me and i'll see you next time